You've got a lovely mosaic here which has been found in Colchester in the town. Is it? I don't know if it's a town or a city, do you? Colchester. To say it used to be the capital of England during Roman times, you'd expect it to be a, a, a city, but I don't know. But they found this here. You know, you can see the lovely patterns, but do you want to do exactly what I want to do? Just get a pressure washer. Get a pressure washer and give it a really good clean. <laughs> now this is what I adore more than anything about any museum, is seeing hordes. We've got three hordes there at the back. With the actual uh, things that were found in, the vases, the urns. Three coin hordes there. And then you've got another one down here. All these are Roman, by the way. And then down here, this would be my favourite find of all time if I ever found it. Well, you can tell which one, can't you? The gold. Look at that. The gold Roman coin. That's still on my wish list. I've still not found one. So now we're in a section where you've got a lot of uh, actual human bones. I think everyone knows what I think of human bones in museums but forget that for a moment look at the lead coffin this was a lead coffin of a child found in this area from the Roman times just before they left England but look at the detail on that wonderful detail what do you mean oh god <laughs> why what am I gonna say what am I going to say? Mazzy, get down and try something on. Go we'll try something on? Yeah, Why would I, I say that? To. Why are you pointing up? Oh, I didn't see that, Mazzy. <laughs> oh, Mazzy, you've got to try some of these on, look. There's a big basket full of clothes which you can try on. Let's do this. So what are you dressed up as, Mazzy? <laughs> do you have any idea what you, you are? I just going to take a picture. I did take a picture, but now I'm doing a video. You don't know what you are. Well, I can tell you, you're part caveman, part <laughs> Scottish. Yeah, I don't know what you are either. I'm modern. Well, you're not modern. There's nothing modern about you at the moment. <laughs> this. What's this? I don't know if it's like... Oh, it's a spit. It's a spit. They used to put like a, a big, a big thick branch over there, and it'd have a, a hog or something over it and they generally did have these animal ends. This particular one's made out of iron, and that's Roman, that's from about 50 AD. That is that really right. old and in really good condition. I'm glad you picked up on that. You've got a cauldron there, Mazzy. You know what's special about it? It's called the Sheepen Cauldron. It is the oldest known um, bronze cauldron ever found in Britain. Wow, that makes huge. it. It is huge, and it makes it quite special. There you've got a bronze figurine of a griffin. Now we've all heard of griffins and dragons and things as mythical creatures, but I'm a firm believer that that they did actually exist once upon a time. In here you've got all these coins and they're all made out of gold, people. You can't really tell because of the lighting, because I've got my flash on, but these are gold coins. It doesn't give you much detail about them, but wow. You might be wondering what these are. It looks like a bee has made these, but these are actually coin moulds. This is what they made the coins in. I still don't really understand how it worked. They look like the lead moulds. But still very cool. There's a tiny little thing there and it's somebody riding a dolphin. And they've got it under like a magnifying piece of glass so you can see it a bit better. But here you can see it, a picture of it close up. 
and they reckon it is, I don't know, maybe some kind of like Roman soldier and this was his good luck charm uh, to ride across the seas to give him a safe journey from Rome, from Italy over to England or vice versa. And over here you've got a really nice dude, but I don't know who he is. What? Don't panic, I'm not going to ask you any bad questions. Okay. I just wondered what you might think of number one down there. Yeah, the big oh, pot is. in the corner. Uh, what do I think of it? Yeah. Well, we've been talking about human remains and cremations. Yeah. That's what they used to be in. That's a cremation urn, if you like, a burial canister. So nowadays, when you get cremated, they tend to be a bit more decorative and smaller than that, but, you know, that's how they used to look. I don't like them. Got another mosaic there, which they found. I've not seen a sign telling us about it yet, but again, needs a pressure washer on it, doesn't it? I'm thinking that those bits over there belong to this. No, if them bits oh. over there belong to this, they'd be in this. They wouldn't separate it. Dad, Dad, come over here, look. Come on. Oh, you want to try this on? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I used to have one of these in a past life when I was a Roman centurion. Oh, okay. Ignore that. <laughs> what do I have to do? Don't know. Try the rag, son. No, it's not my rag, is it? It's me. This is me. My jumper. Yeah. It's like a dress, isn't it? Come on, get it on now. Come on. Yeah, but I didn't Come want on. to wear a dress. I want to put it on if I knew it were a dress. <laughs> About time I got my own back on you. I'm not embarrassed about I'm going to look like a Roman <laughs> centurion, not a girl. Not a girl, you're wearing a dress. <laughs> it's not a dress, it's a tunic. Come on, oh, you. It looks like a dress, doesn't it? <laughs> looks like you got. It doesn't even go. Yeah. yeah. For yeah. <laughs> Don't matter, I'll pick up my sword and I'll cover them up. Yeah, yeah. I look pretty hard now, don't I? You do, Let's yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah, wonderful. Dan yeah. in a dress. Dan in a dress. If I came running towards you and said, get out, you'd get out, wouldn't you? You'd be terrified. Yeah, I'd be terrified seeing a man it's in a dress. I ain't got a dress, why is it cubic? It's a dress. Do you want to see the earliest ever Roman sculpture in Britain? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Here it is. That is the earliest Roman sculpture in Britain, and look at the condition of it. That's not real. That is real. Well, it's really old, I mean. That is real. Well, according to that, it is very, very old. Is it? Yeah, it says there, look. Wow. Uh, the tombstone of blah de blah is the earliest Roman sculpture from Britain, and one of the finest. If that is... I don't know if that's a replica or not, but it doesn't say so on the sign. That is beautiful. Some absolutely amazing figurines in here made out of terracotta. Um, I wasn't sure what they were made out of because they're like a grey colour, whereas that's terracotta colour, but it does say down here that these are terracotta figurines and you've got all sorts of different animals. You've got... Uh, you know, like priests up there, you've got men lying down here. Absolutely amazing detail on them. And up here, you've actually got two skulls. And one of the curators here has just been showing us the uh, the marks where... What did he say? Where, uh, he had his head chopped off. He's had his head chopped off and you can see the marks where he's been, his head's been sawn. But, I can't really see that myself, but I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. I want you to look in there, Mazzy. Yeah. Do you know what they are? These are Razors? Well, the uh, pretty much. These are doctor's instruments. Oh, good lord. But <laughs> what's important about oh, them? Yeah. They are the oldest known doctor's instruments ever found in Britain. They are the oldest doctor's instruments in Britain. That is special. I love finding anything like that. I really do. It just makes me go, ooh. 
So just talking about the doctor's instruments in there, this is the actual grave. This just shows you the doctor's instruments were there. This is a replica here. Oh, oh, this is an actual replica of the grave. Wow, this is what they found in there. Wow. So you've got all these pots on one side. A tea towel in the background. Checkered, of course. You only ever get checkered tea towels. And there's the doctor's instruments. The doctor's grave in Colchester. Excavated in 1996. So where's the doctor himself then? I'm, I'm not seeing him. Not sure. They found a lot of burnt items as well. And there's a couple of cool things in here. You've got an helmet, a Roman helmet, a real Roman helmet. That's really cool. That's from the year 61 after death. And down here, that, my friends, is a barbecue. That is literally a, a Roman barbecue. You know, like a grill top. You like six and seven, what's that? The keys. Oh, very yeah. Strange, yeah, Roman keys were very strange. Oh, they are beautiful, look at them. But, let's be honest, they're not as good as the George Foreman Roman grill. <laughs> now, you'll have to excuse the noise in the background, but there's a speaker right above us telling the story. But this is the Fenwick treasure. All these gold items were found under a Roman house when they were doing some, I don't know, they were doing some modern building or something in 2014. And they found all these amazing things. I'll just run through here so you can read about it. You see the rings. It looks like it used to be a Roman jewel shop. You've got another coin hoard here. Quite a lot in here. All silver. They look like Roman denarius to me. And I've found a few of them. I have actually found a hoard of Roman denarius. Did you know that? Yeah, but it was literally only, I think, four of them. So this is the temple. This is what the castle was built on top of. This, is, this was the Roman temple. This is why you're seeing all these Roman finds. Um, because it used to look like that. But it obviously got knocked down, and nowadays it's a, it's a castle. So that was the Roman part of the castle museum. And next we've got Colchester Jail. Colchester Jail, look at the door. I'm presuming that is original. That is in wonderful condition. And you come through here, look. Oh, this is pretty special. So, now that scared me. Yeah, I've come in here to have a look you around you. Yeah. yeah, I know I'm welcome. Really? I paid a lot of money to come in. Yeah. yeah, I know it's great. Walk away from these yeah, I can walk away whenever I want. You can't, you are a bad person. Uh, look. Mm. Don't start mourning to me because you're in jail because you were a bad person and you murdered people and stuff. I'm not interested. You shouldn't have done it. An old church bell there from 1591. It's quite an old one. Mazzy just keeps saying, can I ring it? Can I ring it? Because she's always wanted... Every time we go to a church, all she wants to do is ring a bell. Yeah. One day, you'll get your wish. Now that one's exciting. A coin hoard of 445 silver pennies found in this like lead, lead, whatever you'd call it, jar. Um, from the 1200s. You can read about it there. You know what I really like about coming in museums? The way they actually managed to clean them up they look like they were made yesterday, especially silver. I just want to bring to everybody's attention number 25 there, carving of naked woman. <laughs> now I'm going to show you the carving of the naked woman. 
Why are you laughing? Because I've just realised myself. Do you know what I'm going to say? Yeah, well, doesn't... yeah. <laughs> what am I going to say? It just doesn't really look like a woman, does it? It doesn't look anything like a woman. But apparently that is a woman, but look in between the woman's legs. Why are they saying that is a woman? <laughs> that is clearly a man. That is clearly a man. There's something incredibly interesting in here. Whoa. See that piece of paper over there? Yeah. Now that is a charter made by Edward III in between 1327 and 1377. And it's like giving people of Colchester the right to do certain things. It's like the law. The king says you can do it so you can now do it. Yeah? Right. And I was just reading some of the things it says on there. It gave the right to, for example, the Burgess family to hunt foxes, hares and polecats. No other borough are known to contain this particular privilege. So that is the only one which says you can hunt them three animals. I didn't even know we had polecats in England. I don't even know what a polecat is, do you? Maybe they're extinct in England now, I don't know. But that's, yeah, that's quite important. You've got a window frame there, made out of wood. And that's from 1450. Came out of a church nearby, but look at the decoration. To say that's survived and it's made out of wood and it's 550 years old, 570 years old, that is wonderful. This is something you don't see every day. Medieval paintings of this kind of date, we're talking the end of the 14th century. I've shown you a few in, uh, in churches in the past. And they're painted on wood. And you've got this really nice one here. I don't know, it's, it's just very rare to see artwork from medieval times and I seem to show you a lot of it. We're very lucky on this trip to be able to see so much of it. Just looking in this cabinet, you've got like these big brass crosses and these wooden carvings here. They look like they were made yesterday and they were for sale in a supermarket. You know, they've made thousands of them but they haven't. These, everything in this cabinet dates from between 1100 and 1500. I've got a big problem at the moment, Mazzy. My battery's gone. Oh no. I'm right down and it's not even letting me use my flash anymore, so we're gonna have to use go on to your phone or go. This is the first thing I noticed when I came into the museum. I wanted to know what it was, but I thought I'll leave it till later. And this is what a servant would wear. Um, and we're talking a long time ago, 1650 to 1680. I'm guessing he had quite uh, quite rich owners. Did they have slaves in them days? Would he have been a slave? I think they call them owners though. Don't I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> but the people he worked for obviously had a lot of money to have all this stitching, all these buttons put on like that. And this is something like what it would have looked like before it got all battered like that. So there you have it, Colchester Castle Museum. What did you think? Uh, a little bit disappointing. <laughs> Why were you disappointed? I just thought there was going to be loads more in there. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger. Yeah, and bigger. Um, yeah. But I'm not good. knocking it. I no, thought, I'm not knocking it. I've still got a mark out of ten. I want you to give one first, but I... Seven. Seven out of ten from Mazzy. Six, seven. Six, seven. Yeah. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. Are you? I really am, yeah. That had some amazing one-offs. Some things like the oldest this, the oldest that, yeah. the oldest this ever found. And three or four coin hoards. It had everything. Yeah. Um, not as big as I expected it, but still fantastic. And I think it was £7.75 to get in. Get yourself there. I, I, I liked it. Right, thanks for joining guys, see you next time.